All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, today I'm here with Jason and we're looking at the EcoBot 40. So Jason, why don't you explain to us a little bit about what this is, um, what kind of customers you would have that would want to get one of these. Sure. And what are the benefits of having something like this? So this is the EcoBot 40, which is a truly autonomous uh, vacuum robot sweeper. So this, this robot will run for two hours. It will autonomously clean the floor, whether it's concrete or carpet. It has a center roller brush. It also has a hopper tray for debris. And then it also has a bag and filter for vacuuming. So this is a, a vacuum robot that will go out and you can deploy it to clean in facilities like uh, hospitals, hotels, casinos, uh, uh, commercial buildings, uh, any building where you have carpet or hard floor that you want to vacuum and sweep. So large areas probably, right? Large areas, yeah. great for large areas. Uh, has a two hour runtime. We can also pair it with a charging station so that the robot will actually go back and charge itself and return to its charging point and then redeploy once it has a full charge again. So truly autonomous, uses uh, 16 cameras all around the robot, uh, also uses LiDAR in order to map its environment and you can use it for any surface that's hard floor that you're vacuuming or sweeping. So when you say truly autonomous, does this mean that if I'm a, let's say a BSC and I get something like this for a, a large building, that I just leave it alone? Is there anything I have to do to turn it on for the day? Do I have to tell it what to do? Or does it just know, hey, it's Monday and it's time to vacuum? So you do have the ability to deploy the robot at whatever time you, you deem necessary. So you can select the time for the robot to deploy for its task. Uh, everything is done here on the dash. And then you also have a dashboard on your laptop that will give you feedback on when the robots run, how, the robots, how long the robot ran, uh, what areas the robot cleaned, and it will go back and charge itself so once you set it up to charge and run, it's, it's truly autonomous. Nobody needs to go back and do any maintenance to the robot until it tells you that the vacuum bag is full or the hopper tray is full. So it will let you know when it needs to have those things replaced. So let's say you're in a building and somebody shuts the door on it. Does it just get stuck? Like so, it's just stuck forever until you find it the next day? Right, yeah. Work? So if someone does lock it or, or, or trap it in a room, it will stay in that room until someone comes and lets it out. Uh, so it does have a shutdown feature. If it's it's not able to complete its task, it will shut down. And then you'll have to redeploy the robot the next day if it is if it is stuck in the room. So will that, and is there a feature where would it enable like a message to the manager or supervisor at the building, like, hey, I'm stuck, I can't do anything. Yes, it will. You to come trap it, come get it, right. save it. It will notify you that it, how much of its task it was able to complete. So okay. if you see it only completed five or 10% of its task, then you know that you know it got, it got stuck somewhere. Okay. So really the only limitations are <laughs> shutting doors, locking in the elevator, yeah. um, basically objects that cannot, you know, physically move. Right, right. Exactly. So, all right, I mean, for you guys, I mean, it's a great like look into the technology that I think the janitorial industry is going towards and the cleaning industry is as well. And then also addressing the, the high cost of labor. Um, while I'm sure you guys realize that these are not cheap, this is a machine that's not gonna call out sick. It's not gonna get COVID. It's, you know, it's gonna be here every day. And really that's where the janitorial industry is moving towards is that you know, while this may be an upfront investment, it is, it's not gonna call out. So, um, yes. thank you. I mean, it's a great machine. We really like it. Um, it's really user-friendly. We've been in this, I guess, the forefront of autonomous technology for a long time. And you guys have made something that's really any end user could use. You know, And it, it's not like you have to have a IT degree to come in and tell it where to vacuum. Right, so yes. really appreciate you coming out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.